Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. How to search for the right faith or religion? Whenever we choose to buy something, we always look for certain features that we have in mind. For example, when making a choice to buy a phone, we would first test to see if it could make calls or not. This is because the primary purpose of a phone is for communication. If you fail to make a phone call on it, no matter how smart and advanced it is, you are not going to keep it. You may find some extra features in it, such as a camera, games, the app store, etc. However, the most important aspect of a phone is this unique ability to connect with other people at a long distance. Similarly, when we are searching for a religion, we should keep in mind whether or not it fulfills two basic requirements. The first requirement is the ability of the religion to connect us with an all-powerful, omnipresent divine being that it claims to be originating from. We can call him God, Allah, or by any other name. The second requirement of a religion is its ability to connect us with other humans by giving us a framework of teachings to improve our social behavior. Just as when choosing the perfect phone, we look at the calling features it comes with, Similarly, with regards to faith too, we must look into what distinguishing features it has. If a religion, right at the outset, slams shut the door of any communication with a divine being, or claims that its God used to speak in the distant past but not anymore, why would anyone be interested in it? It's like selecting a phone which says that our best feature is that you can't make a phone call on it. Therefore, if any religion or religious denomination closes the door to divine communication, it has discredited itself of even being called a religion. Secondly, when choosing any piece of technology, we also look at the extent to which it extends our human capabilities. We readily embrace any new gadget or device if we know that it is going to make our life better by reducing the amount of time or energy it takes to carry out the same task. This is exactly what we should keep in mind while searching for a faith. That is, we should search for the positive changes it can bring into our lives or claims to bring about. We should see whether or not it can extend our spiritual abilities such as emotional well-being and grant us spiritual insight concerning the things which we cannot see with our naked eyes. The latest smartphone always comes with enhanced camera functions and a great sound quality. In the same way, a faith should also inspire us to better understand spiritual matters by improving our spiritual eye to such an extent that it could be able to see God through the manifestation of His divine signs. Thirdly, we always look for a device that is secure and reliable, a device that no one can hack into. In the same way, religion should provide us with security against sinful temptations. But how can it provide that? Well, we automatically pay our attention to our behavior, conduct, and appearance when we see a camera pointing towards us. Similarly, a religion that truly inspires a firm faith about the existence of an omnipresent God can allow its followers to more likely avoid strong satanic inclinations. We experience this very thing in our physical life as well. We do not consciously swallow poison or stand still in front of a wild animal. Rather, we take the necessary precautions to avoid ourselves from any type of harm. Therefore, when looking for a religion, we must select one that can lead us to this level of certainty concerning God, thereby allowing us to always feel safe under His care. Discussing the certainty of faith, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad a man sent by God as a reformer and the Messiah of this age states, It cannot be acquired through mere stories. It cannot be acquired through mere arguments. The only way of acquiring certainty is to experience God repeatedly through converse with Him, or through witnessing His extraordinary signs, or by keeping company with someone who has that experience. Now the question is, which faith from all the world religions fulfills these requirements? It is none other than Islam. Making this announcement loud and clear, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, peace be upon him, says, A living faith 
is that through which we can find the living God. The living God is He who can make us a direct recipient of revelation, or could at least bring us in contact with one who has been a direct recipient of revelation. I convey this good news to the whole world that the God of Islam is such a living God. Jazakallah.